it's Ashton. And it is John. What is up, Sub Sandwiches? We are back again with another reaction video. In today's video, we're going to be reacting to... The Search for Clockman, Nickelodeon's Mysterious Lost Short, Blame It on George. <laughs> now, is that pronounced Jorge or George? I guess it depends on the ethnicity. I am not sure. The That's channel question. is Blame It on George or Blame It on Jorge, whatever it is. Whichever one it is. This is going to be awesome. I thought with a J, it was Jorge, and with a G, it's George. Well, Spanish, the J makes the H sound. So yeah. That's why Except, Juan is yeah. not Joan. Yeah, I don't know. Um, but anyway, guys, this is going to be awesome. Nickelodeon's Mysterious Lost Short. Nickelodeon's done a lot of weird things in the past. Like, first of all, they took away Angry Beavers way too soon. Such a good cartoon. And it only had, like, 11 episodes or something. Uh, this was a suggestion for Rum. Pick a username. Thank you so much for the support. Do appreciate it. Uh, you guys can also help support the channel if you want to. If you click on that link down below in the description and throw down through Streamlabs, and then you pick one of the next videos that we react to. Just keep it under 10 minutes. Include the video link, title your email. And let's get to that video. Blame it on Jorge. I am looking for a particular animated short that terrified me as a child. I've been looking on and off for it for nearly four years. I've never heard of this Maybe one, so... Maybe it doesn't exist. Maybe. Nobody should ever find it. But if someone can, it's the Flood. This short animation was terrifying as a child. The scene is still burned into my mind 28 years later. I want to see it. of a young boy sleeping in his bed. Above the bed is a ticking clock. All the lights in the room are off, and it's very dark. Suddenly, the clock begins to slow down its ticking, and eventually it stops. On midnight. When the clock stops, a greenish-bluish man climbs out of the clock. The boy wakes up just in time to see this man dressed in black, grab him out of bed, and kidnap him by carrying him through a window. The clock man takes the boy on some kind of terrifying adventure. And brings them back to his bed before sunrise. In 2012, like right a user known as Commander Santa posted this message onto the Flood forums in the hopes of uncovering a missing animated short from his childhood. Little did he know, however, that this thread would kickstart the search for one of the most sought after pieces of lost media. A search that lasted for five years. Jesus. A piece of lost media known as Clockman. Hmm. Dude, this is awesome. I never heard of it. Neither have I. I really do want to see how creepy it is, though. The original thread by Commander Sanda that initiated the long hunt for Clockman was at first dismissed as creepypasta bait and nothing more than a troll looking for attention. Others question his memory, given that he was, according to one of his responses, sick when he allegedly viewed it, leading some to believe that it may have been nothing more than just a fever dream. I remember feeling great terror whilst watching it. The whilst. clock man abducted the little boy and took him to places where he did not want to go. I, I can't remember where exactly, but I seem to remember the boy repeatedly asking to go home. Clockman just ignored him like he couldn't hear him. He kept dragging the boy through all kinds of scary places. I remember being scared for the boy and just wishing the Clockman would take him home. His responses to these accusations added to the whole creepypasta feel of it all, such as his desire to see Clockman one last time before he passed away, and how he thought of the short throughout all aspects of his life junior high, high school, college, and even now as a father. It seemed that Clockman really haunted him, and he truly became obsessed with finding it. However, for every dismissal, there were multiple users who believed him. Commander Santa was a respected member of the community, and he wasn't one to troll his fellow members. His description of the plots and appearance of the Clockman were so vivid, so detailed, that many couldn't help but believe him. And inevitably, many others just loved the idea of what he was describing and joined along for the ride, beginning a five-year hunt for this supposed stop-motion film. Commander Santa described what he remembered of the Clockman's so, appearance. <clears throat> a large. They had to have like really went to great depths to get rid of this video, yeah. or hide it. You know, because maybe if not. Nobody could find it for five years. Yeah, but this came out probably like what in the early '90s. 
Yeah, so. So everything, everything wasn't on the internet then. Everything's online. Not back then. People people post old shit on here. Yeah, like, but this is just like one of those little shorts that was probably thrown in in between actual shows. Somebody would have had to have recorded that and then posted it online. Yeah. Or not. That, that didn't happen in the early 90s. People, so. no, but people, yeah, I suppose. I don't know. I a, just feel like it shouldn't be impossible to find. Like, I feel like everything's online, even if it is an older thing. Like, eventually it gets put on there somehow. Like, yeah. I don't know, but... You think the creator would have posted it online? Because <clears throat> even if Nickelodeon didn't decide to take their shorts, they'd still want their own, you know, yeah, like they were for it. hiding it for some reason. Maybe they didn't like the way... Maybe it gave them a bad rap or something. I don't know. Oh, God, yeah. That's the only reason Nickelodeon gets rid of anything. Large bushy beard and a long cape. Several animated shorts were ruled out early on, even though they were eerily similar to Clockman, such as The Clock Store. See, look how old that is, and that, that's up. That's original, though. The Sandman. That's creepy. I want to watch that. I love that kind of animation. And the opening to Nutcracker Fantasy. But look out if you were awake past bedtime. The ragman would catch you. And when he did, she said, he would smile wickedly, point his crooked cane, and turn you into a mouse. Incredibly helpful clue was given by Commander Santa as well. Pinwheel. Commander Santa was positive that Clockman had appeared on Pinwheel, a children's show that was sort of like Sesame Street that aired on Nickelodeon from 1977 to 1990. The series had a total of 260 one-hour episodes throughout its entire run, meaning that around 260 hours of content would need to be scoured through to find Clockman, Jesus. and a large amount of it just wasn't readily available online. There were also many other factors that stood in the way. Clockman was not the official name of the shorts. Nobody knew what it was called. And Pinwheel didn't have any sort of home media release. Fortune. With Commander Santa's thread receiving over 800 comments within 24 hours, the stories of this short spread across the internet like wildfire. Within a single day, it had spread to World of Warcraft forums, Minecraft forums, Yahoo Answers, Hippo Tank, and of course, 4chan, specifically the X Paranormal board. Within the same year that the original thread was posted on the flood, Commander Santa went to 4chan for help. Upon his post, an anonymous user responded with the second official plot summary for Clockman. Holy shit, I remember this fucking short. It was like claymation with poorly made dolls and the animation was real stuttery and shit. It started with the kid's mom telling him goodnight and closing the door behind her after shutting off the light. Then the door slowly creaks open while a generic wind sound blows and the camera Damn, cuts to the kid's got, like, room at the foot of his bed. Incredibly he struggles to open his right. eyes as they slowly droop and he eventually gives in and goes to sleep. Then it cuts to the clock while the second hand slowly ticks to 12. When it hits, there's like a low bell ringing sound and the camera goes back to the foot of the kid's bed. The clock man's head peeks into the room like the clock were a window. Unlike what the OP's image shows, the clock man's head then recedes back and his arms come out and pushes the clock open like a door, revealing a big dark hole behind the clock. Then Clockman hops out of the hole and the kid wakes up and stares beady eyed at the Clockman. Then the Clockman starts doing like a weird Irish Rivers <laughs> dance. Oh, and the Clockman looks a little different from the picture. He was wearing like an all black turtleneck sweater and a black bowler hat. His skin was green, and I don't really remember him having a beard, but he did have a big toothy smile and two real big eyes with very tiny pupils. What the hell? The 4chan user's description of the events heavily differ from Commander Santos. For instance, the user remembers the clock man appearing with green skin, no beard, 
and a turtleneck sweater and a bowler cap instead of a cloak. Additionally, he recalled that the clockman did an <coughs> Irish dance upon his entrance to the child's room. Despite the amount of differences between the anonymous user's accounts of the shorts and his own description, Commander Santa confirms that they are talking about the exact same shorts, and that one of them must have just misremembered some details. Around this time, Commander Santa purchased DVDs of Pinwheel. Despite there being no official home media release of the show, fans have compiled many episodes into DVDs and made them available for purchase. Despite his best efforts, he was unable to find the Clockman on any oh, of the DVDs. Man, we're not going to get to see it, are we? God damn it. No, because we're probably almost... The yeah, story yeah. of Clockman okay, became man, widely man, known in 2012 with Commander Santa's post on the flood. However, it can actually be traced all the way back to as early as 2004 on a website known oh, wow. as The Animation Nation. On a thread where users were discussing horror elements in Western animation, a user named Michael W. Howe posted about a few frightening shorts he had seen on Nickelodeon's Pinwheel when he was younger. Sitting in plain sight amongst the other descriptions was a paragraph that sounded eerily similar to Clockman. I found it once at my first elementary school and then I forgot what it was called. Then there was one based on the story of a little girl who lost her red shoes. So she asked a local wizard for help who could appear and disappear anywhere. He helped her but told her she had to tell her mom. The little girl goes home and doesn't, hoping the wizard would forget. But then the music gets eerie as the narrator says, but the wizard did not forget. And we see him appearing and disappearing along the house floors till he suddenly pops out of her clock and steals her away, demanding to know why she didn't tell her mom. She makes up for it by sewing stars to put in the night sky, and the next day is returned home and tells her mom the truth. Is this what they've and been then, looking of for? of course, there was the Willy Wonka blueberry scene. And also At the time, this description was glossed over and not much thought was given to it by others. However, when Howe's post was rediscovered in 2012, this was seen as a huge turning point that converted all of those who didn't believe Clockman was real. Anyone who doubted Commander Santa and the anonymous 4chan user reconsidered when seeing this obscure post from almost a decade ago that lined up with their description. anybody found this, this yet? So... We're 10 minutes in. No! So there's 13 minutes left of that. Oh, dear me, I no. think... I feel like they'll find it. For the video. I hope they do. They gotta find it because I want to see what it is now. I'm sure you guys do too. This is super interesting. Something from the past that's been not hidden but forgotten that was super well, creepy. Do you ever have those like memories where yes. you you remember like a show or like something, you can't figure out what it is? <clears throat> There's yes. like, God, that, that's happened to me many times. I think that's happened to everybody in some degree. Yeah, but like. I can't remember. There's something I was trying to tell you about, and I still, till this day, cannot figure it out. It, it was like a show it, or something that I was telling you about. I can't remember. I've Me and you have had the conversation like four times. I think that what happened to me with uh, was like Sunshine no, Junction or something. <clears throat> Is that a show or a game? It was like a, I think it was a show where they lived in like a jukebox or something of a train station or I don't know. Oh, remember. that happened with that alien kids show. Um, remember? I do remember the yeah. conversation, but and I don't I, remember what show it was. Thankfully, something Floyd. Was it something Floyd? Floyd in space or something like something that. Something like yeah. that. And our YouTuber, our subscribers actually told us what it was, and I was really happy about that because. It was a show I absolutely loved when I was younger, and so to bring that back and remember it finally over my whole, you know, I don't know what age, you know, from however old up, I could not remember what the show was called. Mm -hmm. And I was like, okay, is it like a freaking figment of my imagination, or what's going on? But there's a game <clears throat> that I played, and I can't remember what it was, and I've told you about it multiple times, and you're like, yeah, I don't know what it is. Oh, it was the one where... You go in that building and you kill people. Remember? I've been telling you about That's this game. so generic, though. Like, I can't make anything out of that. You and I have had the conversation many times. Mm -hmm. And I've explained the game. I, we've looked online for it. And we can never find it. That's we can't true. figure it out. Need a lot more detail if we're going to start looking into it. I know. I gave you more detail a long time ago. Oh, did you? Like, yeah. We've talked about this, like, two months ago. 
We sat there and like talked about it for like a half hour, and we were googling, and I was telling you what it was about and everything. It sounded like Grand Theft Auto. From no, the piece, it wasn't that at all. Uh-oh. It was like a game where you were in this building, and you got to choose from all these creepy ass characters that you could be. It was like it, kind of, it was creepy on the level of like Twisted Metal in a way. Like I don't know which one. Dude, Twisted Metal is such a good game. <clears throat> but yeah, like you'd go in this building and you'd kill people and you'd go through like tons of different rooms and you'd just shoot people and um I can't remember, like I remember what certain scenes looked like and stuff, but that's obviously not something I can really explain. It's more in my head. So something like the PS one? On uh just the regular It's just a PlayStation. Yeah. But I, I don't have know. No idea. I feel like if I ask my brother, he might know, but it's been so long that I don't think he would. Like Kill Floor, maybe, or something like that. I would know the name, I feel like. I don't hmm. know. It, 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 that's one of the things, though, that I can't remember. So, yeah, this would be super irritating as well. Dude, I want to see Clock Man. I know you guys do too. Um, go check out the channel that is Blame It on George. If you want to finish the video yourself, the link is down below in the description. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Bye.